everything in the world is as it should be. That may sound tasteless, out of touch, unfair. But I said everything in the world is as it should be. I didn't say it's good, I didn't say it's perfect. It is as it should be. Um, enlightenment from a dog walk to Los Angeles, California. I, I don't know how, how to say it, how I feel, but it, it's an observation of seeing the homeless, then feet away from seeing the homeless. A man with, who's homeless with uncertainty about the next meal, without a guarantee of the next meal. You walk a little further, and this is dude in his uh, fur eye thinking, What should I do next? And that, uh, those guys are exactly where they should be. And now you can watch me walk down the street and get jacked and beheaded and um, get my uh, life taken for my phone or my wallet and then I, as I'm dying I'll say everything is as it should be <laughs> and that doesn't mean accept oh man I'm not world famous oh man I don't have a, a, a nicer um, drawing chair oh man that means I'm stuck here forever that means I'll never get married I'll never have friends I'll never be happy <laughs> In order to earn more, in the world of capitalism, I believe, as Jim Rohn said, in order to earn more, you must become more. What value do you provide to the market? I know that I and sound like a big jolly fella on these videos and if I'm so enlightened if I know so much I should take it with a grain of salt whatever the hell that means Accept what is and go forward. This fly buzzing around here. The little thing. It is as it should be. Seeing a janitor, hanging with janitors. Seeing a hood rat hanging out with another hood rat. A scholar with another scholar. A gold digging whore with another gold digging whore. It is as it should be. And. My question is for you guys, guys and gals and trannies and dinosaurs, how will it be for you? Knowing that you're in charge of your bus of life.
I've seen people go to work, walk to work on the bus, in traffic, going to school to volunteer, to go get high. And, and I probably should not be mentioning it because um, the majority of those people's lives are of no significance, of no concern, of no value to mine. I should just focus on this. But I'm not letting it distract me and thinking, man, I wonder what they were going to. Man, I bet they were going to, to breakfast. Man, I wonder where that family was walking down the street, all happy and giggly. Man, I wonder what that dude at the corner was uh, pulling his hoodie for and just staring into the darkness. And, and it's a balance because you want to pay attention to your surroundings not let it all go to shit be careful where you fall in in the three classes of people which are those that make things happen those that see things happen those that don't know what happened There's just something personal about me. You know when I buy my groceries, I make a mental note as to who didn't have a fucked up attitude. Who seems like they give a fuck about their life, about their job. And uh, pretty much go back to that uh, cashier or a grocery bagger. Because I, I don't like, uh, <laughs> yes, my momentum does get distracted when I run into some dumb bitch or some fucking pansy. I cannot. Uh, my, my mind is, um, my mind gets occupied trying to make it logical into what, what I heard once from a stupid bag boy pansy oh man customer service is hell customer service is hell again I recommend you listen to the, the uh, Jocko podcast it's on the YouTube's Jocko podcast J-O-C-K-O Hardship. Well, he he uh, elaborates on a lot of uh, hardship, man, throughout written history. Oh, dude, and, and it puts me in check, thinking, fuck, man. This is my tool right now. Another way about using M16A2 service rifle with an M203 grenade launcher. Standing guard, fire watch, or worry about loading a musket round per round, trench grenade warfare. Worrying about trench foot, being in the jungles of Vietnam, catching malaria. Becoming a POW, getting beheaded in Mexico for extortion, for ransom. Disappearing into the underworld. 
as human cattle. Sorts, all sorts of tragic things, but also there are book deals to be made, work to be recognized, mountains to be climbed. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of climbing mountains. Because I do think that the biggest game in town is business. To provide a product or service that people will reward you for. People will say, oh man, you're worth what you're asking. I would like to think that also my videos, I think the commentary is a kick in the ass and my drying technique is just uh, sprinkles on top of your banana split, the gummy bears on top of your hot fudge sundae. the same stuff, a lot of the same stuff over and over. And uh, you know, don't become that casualty man, the one that um, dies at the age of 23. And is just waiting to get buried at the age of 70. That's another Les Brown, Les Brown uh, story. Now that I remember, I forgot to make the uh, video of the dog who laid on the nail. The story goes something like this. Jimmy goes to go see the old man, the old wise man, and his wise dog. Sees the wise man. Sees the wise old dog. And as they're chit-chatting about life, little Jimmy hears the dog cry, whimper a bit. Jimmy asks the old man, why is that dog crying? He's like, well, it's sitting on the nail, laying on the nail head. Why doesn't he move? Why well, doesn't hurt him enough for him to move? shit like that. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Trump 2020, motherfuckers.